So there are, there are high stakes when we're playing this game. It's, it's something to be taken seriously. Um, one thing that we want to do when, when we're engineering is we want to talk to experts. There's a lot of people, there's a bunch over in that corner, that um, are experts and they know exactly what they're talking about. Um, They've done this before, or they've seen the failures, or they've seen other people do it wrong. They have a lot of experience. One of the things that I think is really uh, kind of problematic in the modern world, and I've written a very uh, controversial blog post about it, is trying to evaluate who's an expert You know, in this world where everybody has a voice. Well, 99% of people definitely should not have a voice. Um, no, a lot of people are not experts. Um, there is a real difference between what makes somebody an expert and what doesn't. And this world where anybody can post a comment and say, I'm, I know what I'm talking about. Well, let's show me your portfolio. Show me, show, me, show me your experience. Where have you been? What have you done? I need to evaluate you before I'm going to listen to you. I mean, unless, of course, the comment stands on its own, which you should evaluate yourself also. But the thing is, is that you know, I, I look for people who are experts and I ask them questions. I talk to them because I can learn from them. I don't want to do it all. I'm not a one-man army. I'm not going to do it all on my own. And there's thousands and thousands of years of experience up in that convention hall of people that have done something that you might be trying to do. Talk to them. Cold call them. I, I, some of the best things in my life have happened just calling somebody cold out of the blue. Um, these are some books. These are probably the top books, I'd say, in terms of this world. Of course, everybody has a car copy of Sharp. But of course, you have to have a copy of Full. If you like math, Casalter is really good. Uh, Brad, Bradley is very practical. And this uh, motorcycle design technology, it's very good, clear, like uh, Sesame Street level diagrams and some math and things like that. I think it's, I think it's worth having something in the bathroom. you know. Uh, that kind of thing. But these are, these are very good books to have on your bookshelf if you're interested in this kind of stuff. Um, here's a picture. Uh, I don't, you guys know Sandy Cosman from back in the day? Yeah, Sandy's in rough shape right now. But um, I went to his shop in 2008. I cold called him. I said, hey, Sandy, you're the guy. I'm, I'm all about motorcycles. I want to go check out your shop and talk to you. I spent the whole day with Sandy Cosman. And and talked about you know, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and all that shit. Saw some crazy shit I'd never seen before. You know, the first carbon fiber motorcycle chassis I'd ever seen was in his shop, you know, before I even saw it in a magazine. Um, he's, he's pretty crazy, total legend in California for motorcycle drag racing. Um, yeah, um, so I was there, I talked to him, talked to the guy. That was 12 years ago, or 14 years ago, you know, 